Do you have a need for a reliable, cost-effective web hosting for your blog, business or personal website? If so, then look no further than CheapHost UK. CheapHost UK's basic plan starts from only 58 pence per month, that's 6.99 a year. CheapHost UK was built to not only provide reliable hosting, but also to provide customers with a support system every day of the year. And if you're needing a little bit more, CheapHost UK's premium packages start from £1.41 a month or £16.99 a year, complete with a free .co.uk domain. New customers can also take advantage of an extra 10% discount when purchasing any first-time hosting or domain name package from CheapHost UK. Use discount code CHEAP to get an extra 10% discount. For reliable, cost-effective web hosting and domains, look no further than CheapHost UK. Full details and an affiliate link are in the description to this video. Hello and welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep with me, Tom. Now, cast your mind back to June 2022 when I did a video about the proposed Orange Pi 800 a Chinese clone of the Raspberry Pi 400 all-in-one computer. Well, the other day I noticed people started commenting on that video again, which alerted me to the fact that the product had actually gone live on sale. So I have ordered one. And from AliExpress, it's cost me a whopping £134, including shipping and £20 just in tax. So yeah, that's expensive, and I'm not 100% sold on this. My previous encounters with Orange Pi products, mainly the all-winner arm-powered Orange Pi Zero, was less than satisfactory. Now, I won't go over the details again. You can watch that in the first video on the subject. Oh, and by the way, some comments today and yesterday seem to suggest I'm directly involved in this product. So for the record, I'm not being sponsored. I have no dealings with Orange Pi. So this is a product review based on my own genuine interest and own personal money. And if this turns out to be overpriced e-waste, then don't worry, I'll let you know. Anyway, I thought we'd take a quick look through the website again as I've got a few more things I want to comment on. So we're just back here at orangepie.org. This is their official size. We're here at the um, Orange Pie 800 page. Uh, pretty much the same as last time. Talks about the specification. We've been through that before. Uh, the things I particularly like, the onboard eMMC storage and the 64-bit processor. It's actually using a Rockchip RK3399. Uh, which is an ARM CPU, but it's a different chip architecture that we've not used here on the channel before. Most of the things we've ever used have been all winner, or if it's been Raspberry Pi, it's been Broadcom or one of the variants. So it talks about the uh, product, as we've seen before. Uh, big things I like about this is the inclusion of a full VGA and HDMI port. That, for me, could be huge. We do have microSD as well, um, and USB Type-C power, as well as onboard speaker. So if this thing is anywhere near as good as the 400 or better, that would be quite something. Now, the OS it says it's coming with is Orange Pie OS. It's suggesting that it's going to be pre-installed. I mean, you only have to look at the thing. It looks like an identical clone of the Raspberry Pi 400. Um, so I went to have a look at software and worryingly, Orange Pie OS is coming soon. Yeah, and it's been saying coming soon for most of the year. So I do hope these products I've just bought, or this product I have just bought, actually does have an OS on it, because otherwise I don't know if there's any uh, images available at the moment. Obviously, there will be third-party images for this. I could well imagine that uh, Ambien will do a build for the Pi 800. Nearly said 400 then. Orange Pi 800, if they haven't already got one in the works. Um, let me just take you over to aliexpress so this was the product page oh by the way the product for sale let's just go back quickly so the amazon store isn't 
up and running apparently uh but you can buy from aliexpress and as well as free purchase links now there was two earlier on this was one of them and you can see the price here this was pounds sterling 99 pounds 10 that's what i bought out and it hasn't changed 13 pounds 40 34 shipping plus 20 pounds tax that's what i get you on tax so that came to the 134 pounds something so yeah i also just want to scroll down here because this thing here is a little bit worrying and this is a piece of new information kindly reminder orange pi 800 keyboard must be powered by a 5 volt 4 amp type c to avoid unstable use of keyboard right okay um so i mean i had a quick look at the power supplies i intended to use and the stock raspberry pi power supply uh for the four and four hundred is five volts and three amps and i also had a look up i've recently bought an m2 mac pro and or macbook pro sorry and i had a look at its USB C power supply and even that for an entire mac machine only outputs three amps five volts three amps so four amps is huge and is a little bit worrying um annoyingly the power supplies they only do the us and the eu supply and there's the eu supply now the eu supply would technically be compatible if we use an adapter but they don't do a plug or power supply for the british standard well you've seen here on the uh, pi 400 uh, USB C power shots on the three pin standard so um <sighs> Yeah, they don't do a, a a British plug, which is annoying. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit worrying. I also decided just to see what was going on with Raspberry Pi products at the moment. And I jumped over to the Pi Hut. This is one of the main distributors for the UK. And not a lot of products on sale. Plenty of um, Pico microcontrollers which is all the pi foundation want you to use now but you can't actually get hold of any actual raspberry pis still so let's just click 400 and it does show they seem to have 400s in stock but if you click through the only ones they've got they've got one norwegian keyboard unit and four in danish but you can't get a, a, U, a uk us even the japanese keyboards have all uh, sold out um on the kits what have we got on the kits um they've got kits for the united kingdom which 104 probably isn't bad yeah it's probably not bad considering that that will be including that that's the tax included you will have shipping on top of that so uh, it's still probably cheaper at the moment to buy a full raspberry pi 400 kit for those that have actually got stock rather than to buy this orange pi despite the fact that technically speaking the orange pi is a more powerful and possibly more capable product especially if it's better use of um cables and things to connect into the use of full hdmi and full vga as opposed to the stupid adapters with the 400 that i hate and also the 400s keyboard people have said about the keyboard not being good and i do agree the keyboard is not great on the pi 400 it's not terrible but it's just very hard when you sort of press it and trust me i've used some very cheap chinese membrane keyboards i have a stack of them here that i use for other projects and they feel far better than the official raspberry pi 400 products so i'll be very interested to see how good or bad the, Ras the raspberry pi the orange pi 800 keyboard actually is I mean, it's, yeah, it's six core ARM processor, 64 bit, four gig of RAM. Um, and you've got to think the Pi 400 is a four core ARM processor. It is 64 bit as well with four gig of RAM. So the spec is similar, but this spec for the Orange Pi is a little bit higher. And also we've got the clock speed for the uh, Rockchip RK3399. And we're running at 1.8 gigahertz, six cores. Um, so hopefully the OS's they provide, the Linux build OS's can actually use all those cores. And of course we've got this 64 gigabyte eMMC for onboard storage. So 
you won't need to use an SD card, I don't think, to actually boot an operating system. And because it'll be solid state onboard storage, the bus speed should be a lot faster than you would ever get trying to run an OS off an SD card, which is something that's always blighted the Raspberry Pi, especially as the Pi has got faster. There's also been a bit of a sort of throttling bottleneck when it comes to actually getting data off the SD card, especially if the SD cards aren't a very high class or aren't very fast. It really does slow down the OS quite considerably. And yeah, it shows it here running off both VGA and HDMI from the looks of it. So it can do dual split screens if you want it. Um, Pre-installed, compatible with Android. So I'm assuming Raspberry Pi OS is not Android. It is... Uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's... Um, a ver Raspberry Pi OS is going to be a version of Ubuntu Linux, I would assume. But I could be wrong. Bluetooth and... Why? Sometimes I find if you try and run things like Bluetooth, uh, it struggles, it pulls too much volts through, despite the fact it says low power. So maybe that might be why you need the higher... Um, the higher voltage uh, power supply, not sure. And of course, they're saying this thing can do 4K. I don't actually have a 4K display, believe it or not, so I won't be able to test that bit. Um, but yeah, I'm still, <laughs> in some cases, until quite recently, I was still using VGA for a lot of things. And uh, especially when I go to things like Raspberry Pi Jams, uh, we still, those actually have VGA monitors that sort of, you know, flat panel, 4 for eight aspect ratio monitors that come out we have to take all the adapters to plug the Raspberry Pis in so it'd be really nice with this it'd be very useful to be able to just plug straight into VGA and even if I'm thinking of taking this out to do um, talks and run powerpoints and things a lot of these sort of places that have like inbuilt projectors it's actually VGA still it's not HDMI so you're constantly needing to take adapters with you and I've had it before with the Pi 400 I've had to take an adapter to adapt from the micro HDMI to the full size HDMI and then go from that for another adapter to VGA so this hopefully if it works really well and is fast should actually save me a lot of bother and yeah we will test the heat to see how well the uh, heat sink in this works because of course it won't have a fan in it it claims the earth but yeah we'll find out so as mentioned i have an orange pi 800 on order it might take a little while to get here it's cost too much and it might not even power up Oh, this is going to be fun. You can just tell. Also, if you're watching in September or October 2022, a quick reminder. On November the 5th and 6th, 2022, I'm back exhibiting at Cambridge Retro Computing Festival. This time is a fully open and packed event showcasing all things computing and gaming. I intend to bring a few things not seen here on the channel and the latest builds from our Tiny Basic Computers project, including the four color system. So as always, it's a really great day out. It's such an amazing show and I really enjoy meeting so many of you. For full details, see events.wifisheep.co.uk. That's events.wifisheep.co.uk. And before I go, just time to say a warm welcome and thank you to Craig Anderson, who is the latest member to join our channel. You can join too and help support me and the work done here on this channel. Tiers and prices are on screen now. You can find out more by clicking the join button under this video. We also mustn't forget our wonderful Patreon backers. So a huge thank you in no particular order to Mike O'Neill, George F. Rosanke, Gildo Zegastra, Danny Giesens, Alexandra Smith, Laura, Anthony Bartram, Daniel Broom, David Taylor, Retro Markey, Conrad Pitchard, Philip Groves, and Robert Diggle. If you want to join them in directly supporting independent content creation here on Wi Fi Sheep, you can by joining our Patreons by visiting patreon.com forward slash Wi Fi Sheep. We'll see links in the description. So remember, we'll be back soon once the Orange Pi 800 arrives and we'll do a full unboxing and setup review. Make sure you don't miss out by liking and subscribing. And as always, thanks so much for your company. I will see you real soon right here on the channel. Until next time, bye for now. Oh,